guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I'm doing a little job here today. Cutting some cylinder liners for fire rings. This is a fairly simple job. Um, using my radius tool to cut a face groove in the end of the liner. That's what these rings go in. So I'm just cutting a radius groove to more or less match this. Uh, it doesn't actually, I'm using a 120 radius. This is a 105 wire, which allows it to be able to crush and conform and give it some place to go. You can't have it totally constrained or it uh, can't crush because it can't spread out when it goes down like it's supposed to because these are supposed to have a 20 thousandths crush on them. So that means I need to uh, cut these so that they have 20 thousandths protrusion given the head gasket thickness. And I've got all that in my head. I know what this needs to be and I've already got the tool set to diameter so all I gotta do is go in, uh, touch off, and cut my depth, make sure they fit, and they're good to go. So let's fire the lathe up and get to it. Uh, sometimes I don't do this with the steady rest on here. I already had it out doing a different job and it does give a lot of stability to these. Uh, you hate to be turning out here on the end with just this little big grip and kick and throw these out of the machine. It's always a bad day and usually breaks and destroys the liner. So uh, a little support never hurt anything. And I'm out here on this outer flange because that is a, a good machine surface. Uh, the sides of these are just rough. Uh, they just want to just get it for clearance and do it fast and uh, you don't really want to run steady rest on that part of it because it's not smooth so there's not a lot of support here it's just something just to keep it from being able to fly off so.
Well, hopefully you can see that there. I was wondering why my measurements weren't coming out right. And one of these liners is a mix and match, apparently, what I was provided. Uh, it's got the taller fire dam. It must be out of a naturally aspirated engine. Uh, still the same displacement, but uh, they use a different head gasket on. So the fire dam's a different height. And I, I trimmed that one down to make it match the rest of them because this is going around a turbo motor with the short gasket. So I'll get that one cut to match these others and bring you back. Well, I've got them all done and uh, checked them out. The critical dimension here is from the top of the fire ring to the surface that's even with the deck of the block. So I'm going to check it out. Put a parallel across it. And these feeler gauges should be right close to what it is. And they have to go in, otherwise it's it's too deep. So that's good. That was good. That was good. That one's good. And the other two check good too. No need me watching do that over again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick little job. Uh, not a lot to doing these fire rings other than uh, measuring the depth correctly and getting them cut. Uh, they're not super critical as far as center or anything like that. So if they're two or three thousandths off one way or another on the board, doesn't make any difference. And the only thing that matters is the crush height. So. Get that good and you're good to go. And I got this one that was the other style liner cut down to match the rest of these. So these are ready to go back to the customer and they can put their engine together. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.